I became interested in looking at the night sky and astronomy when I was like four or five. Uh, and I remember walking to school when I was six, seven, eight, and looking more up than ahead. And sometimes I even came late to school because I was so mesmerized by the night sky above me. You can maximize your chances of seeing the auroras by uh, visiting Iceland around the equinoxes. So for some reason, we still don't know why, but the aurora seems to love the equinoxes. So September, October, March, April are usually the best times of the year. You can see auroras from all over Iceland, but the key thing is to know to be outside and away from light pollution. So preferably stay away from towns or cities like Reykjavik. Uh, I would always go to some distant or remote place as far away from the light pollution as possible. Uh, there are a few places I highly recommend. One of them is called Hotel Rangá, which is in the south of Iceland. Another beautiful place is called Húsafell. And then we have uh, other sites, of course, all over the country, for example, in the north. So it, just go wherever you wish to go, of course, but try to shy away from the light pollution. So Hotel Ronko is a hotel in the southern part of Iceland, and it's the only hotel in Iceland so far that houses this, that has this beautiful and, well, for me, magical observatory. We have two telescopes inside, and we have a roof, the roof that rolls off. And when the roof rolls off, you can see the whole sky above you, the whole universe. And these two telescopes allow us to show people who are interested more of the universe than they could possibly even imagine seeing. And this is just the ideal location of doing astronomy and or well, stargazing and aurora observing. The most beautiful object you can see with the naked eye outside besides the auroras is probably the Milky Way. The Milky Way is amazingly beautiful and under a pristine unlight polluted sky you can see how it stretches all throughout the sky and this is our home in the universe, this is our galaxy. We just circle one mundane star in one remote corner of the Milky Way. Stargazing is definitely for the whole family, for people of all ages, from small kids up to grandmas and grandpas. Top tips for Northern Lights watching is dress warmly. Bring your warmest clothes with you when you come to a cold country like Iceland. Uh, be patient because sometimes you have to wait for even hours for the auroras to show up. Um, don't give up. That's also a, a thing that has to be on your mind constantly because the auroras can arrive after midnight or before midnight. So you have to be patient and don't, don't give up. And then in the end, just enjoy the show. Don't waste time fiddling with your camera while everything is taking place because the camera really doesn't pick up what you're actually seeing. Auroras are amazingly beautiful. Uh, that's probably why people still flock to northern countries to see them. Uh, we still don't know a lot, everything there is to know about auroras, so there still remains a lot of mysteries. But for me personally, the more I know about auroras, the prettier they, they become, the more amazed I am of actually seeing this thing, because we are in a unique position, especially those of us who live under the aurora oval. We can see auroras pretty much all the time, but whenever there's a really strong and intense display, it can be absolutely, well, it's just, there are no words really to describe it, how beautiful it can be. And that's probably what brings people over and want to see it.